we came onto the island to try to understand how to restore power, it really took you know, the fortitude for everybody that was here from those in the Commonwealth, those in PREPA, those in FEMA, those back in DC, those in the private sector to really work together. In the case of particular of Vieques and Culebra, the first thing we installed there were two microgrids in each one of the sites to have energy in each one of the sites. Without them, ni Vieques ni Culebra in the actuality would have right energy. There was a lot of criticism in the front about how slow we were moving. And, and we take that, but the situation that we had, again, was looking at the ports and understanding what we can get into the port, trying to source materials and find materials. There were times when there were certain materials that are on the PREPA system that are only made for PREPA. So we had to go to a manufacturer and have them actually make the materials, which have very, very long lead times, to actually get them here. And then once we get them here, we are competing with all of the trucking industry. So trucks were moving water, trucks were moving food, trucks were also moving power equipment. Recuerde que esta es la primera vez que FEMA tiene una misión que envuelve la instalación de microgrids. Esto es nuevo para todos nosotros. Es por esto que en el caso particular una de las enseñanzas es que tenemos que tener eh, generadores adicionales almacenados allí en cada una de las islas para poder reaccionar de manera inmediata teniendo los generadores en sitio y no depender del sistema de transportación del gobierno para poder llevar desde aquí de Puerto Rico hacia ambas islas. And so we, again, we have to prioritize everything that we were doing, and it was a huge challenge. So we had a lot of things to establish before we could actually start restoring power. We had assessments to do. Roads were not theirs. Roads had to be cut. The maintenance of the grid prior to when we got here was not very good. And so we had a situation where poles fell down from literally a very, very short burst of wind. So we had a lot of work that we had to do. Um, it took a lot of coordination. Uh, and I think at the end of the day, once we got going, but it took us a couple of months to get going, and there was, again, a lot of criticism, but today we have restored the grid, and now we have a wonderful opportunity here in Puerto Rico to take a step back and redesign the grid in a way that's much more resilient, uh, so if something else does come our way, that we can make sure that the people of Puerto Rico have lights.